Hi, my name is John and in this video I'm going to show you how to format uh, in APA style um, a paper, an essay. So the first thing that you should know, or actually the first thing that you should know is that I'm using um, a Mac computer to do this. I'm using uh, Microsoft Word for Mac. Um, says here, uh, so 2011 version uh, 14, so on. So if my um, Microsoft Word looks different than yours, it could be because I'm using a different version or because I'm on the Mac. In any case, a lot of the things should be similar. So you have to write an essay. Um, you need to format it correctly. Uh, this is what you need to do. So the first thing that I recommend is you go to layout, um, you check the size of your paper. If you're in America or Canada, for example, you probably use U.S. letter size. Uh, where I am in my, you know, in my part of the world and in Asia, uh, we often use um, A4. So my setting is on A4 paper, which is fine. Um, the orientation, of course, is in portrait mode. Margins should be um, 2.54 centimeter on all sides, the top, the bottom, the left, the right. Uh, 2.54 centimeters is one inch. So basically one inch on, on every side. That's how your margins should be set. Okay, so that's, that's taken care of um, already. And you see that I'm just using plain white paper to do this, uh, not any kind of colored paper. And my font, all of my font is going to be black font, plain black font. And I had, you know, basically have a choice here. I'm clicking on, on the font. Um, you'll see there are many, many, many different kinds of fonts. I usually use Arial font. Um, the two main fonts that people use are Arial or Times New Roman font. Um, there are other fonts you can use, but I recommend Arial or Times New Roman, and it has to be 12 point font. All right, so something else that we should do before we start typing is we want to make sure that everything is double spaced. So what I'm doing right here is I'm clicking on the spacing option line spacing. Uh, I'm going to go to line spacing options and you'll see what comes up is this little box. Come on little box. Oh, well, you can see it anyway. Uh, and what it should say here in before, this is the space before a paragraph. It says zero point. Okay, good. After a paragraph, uh, zero point. I don't want any extra spacing before or after my paragraphs. Line spacing, it has to be double space. So it's set at double space. Um, and there it is. So I click OK. All right. And so now my document is kind of set up, ready to go. Um, the first page of my essay is going to be a title page. And then followed by that is an abstract page. Some papers have abstracts, some don't. Following, following that, you have the actual essay. And then following that, you have the references page. So let's go through those four things. Let's start with the title page. And you need to kind of center your title. Um, so I'm going to enter, 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 and I'm going to create an essay called The Extraordinary Extraordinary, um, oop, I misspelled that, Extraordinary Beauty of Angkor Wat. So I can see that that's kind of centered in the page. Uh, oh, and that's not really. I need to move that down a bit. 
Okay, so The Extraordinary Beauty of Angkor Wat, that's the title of my essay. Um, now I'll put my name, I'm the one who's writing it. I'll put my university, in this case I'm just going to write pretend university. So whatever college or university, your institution, you put the name of that there. And then what happens on the last line is uh, the name of your professor. Uh, so that's kind of the title page. It's almost done. You see that I've got um, the title. Let's make that bigger. I've got the title, The Extraordinary Beauty of Angkor Wat. Uh, my name, John Botting, Pretend University, um, Michelle Smith is my teacher, and I've got that information on there. And you can see that it's kind of centered in the middle of the page. Um, Angkor Wat, by the way, is this place. Um, it's a temple in uh, Cambodia. I've never been there. I'm, I'm just choosing a random topic. Um, I'm not actually going to write the essay. So coming back to the formatting. I have the title page information there. Now I need to do some work on what's called the, the header. So let's go up to the top and I need to get into the header up here. So usually if I double click I can get into the header. There it is. If you can't get into the header using double click, um, I think it's in document elements or yeah, in document elements, you can choose header and you can get in that way. So what I'm, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, put in a page number. And so there it is. I click page number right there. Now something a lot of students forget to do is to make sure that their font has to match everywhere. So the font that's in the header has to match the font that's in the body. So here I can see that this number one is Arial 12 point font. Good, that's what I want. A lot of times the system gives you something different. Make sure that you have all of your font everywhere being the same font. Okay, here comes the important part. Um, running head and I'm just gonna put in capitals uh, anchor what? And then I have the one there, I'm hitting tab, tab, and then I have this little thing up here, and I'm going to move it over, and I've got my, my number needs to be in the top right corner. Um, this thing that says running head, Ankar Watt, needs to be in the left, and it has to look exactly like this, running, capital R, head, uh, small h, colon, and then the, the short title is in uh, capitals. Uh, so my, my essay title is The Extraordinary Beauty of Angkor Wat. But I don't want that big long title in the header. I want a short one. And so my running head is going to be just Angkor Wat. Alright, so let's check. There's one thing I forgot to do. And I'm going to do it and we'll see if something crazy happens here. This is the first page. Now on the second page, I want it to just say Anchor Watt and the page number, and I don't want this thing that says Running Head. So what I need to do is I need to click Different First Page. And I click Different First Page. Uh-oh, it disappeared. And what you'll see is that it's been pushed down to the second page. So now I need to, to fix that. Um, so second page, I just want Anchor Watt. Anchor Watt. That's what my from every page now. It's going to say Anchor Watt um, page two, Anchor Watt page three, Anchor Watt page four. But on the first page, you know, um, here I have to do it again. So again, put in the page number. Good. And now I have to write running. Oh, I don't want all capital. Running head Anchor Watt, and then tab tab and then move this little thing over a bit. There it is. And what you see now is, um, I'll close out of the header. You can see my this first page header says running head, anchor watt, one. And then I go down and you can see the second page, it just says anchor watt, two, 
Don't worry about that text. We'll come back to that in a minute. Then anchor watt, three, and so on. So that's the header um, and the running head uh, set up correctly and the page number set up correctly. It's all on the same line in the header. The, the actual running head here piece is all capitals and, and you need to make it look exactly like that. So now my title page is done. Um, don't worry about the text stuff. I'm going to come back to that in a minute. But you'll see my title page up here. Um, running ahead, uh, the title, my name, the university, my teacher's name. I'm going to center it a little more. All right. Sometimes your teachers want extra information, what course you're doing and the due date or something. That's fine to put that stuff in. This is kind of the basic title page information. And good. So next, on the next page, page two, I'm going to make my abstract. So I'll put the in the center. Abs oops, I don't want capitals. Abstract. And then enter. Well, this is you can see oh if I go now to the right and I just type some stuff, it's not double spaced here. If you get into this situation where it's not double spaced and even down below you see that I've got some text there that I'm going to sh use in a moment, um, some pretend text. Uh, if I do select all and I'm doing command A on my computer and I, I need to go back here, I need to check the line spacing. Before should say zero, after should say zero. Line spacing should say double. Okay, boom. Now everything, you can see, everything has been double spaced now. Uh, your whole essay needs to be double spaced. So let's get that abstract back to the top. It starts on the first line. Then this text, this stuff here is just what, I'm, what I call dummy text. It's not real stuff. It's, I'm just using it as a placeholder. Um, command, copy. And I'll just stick that in there. Paste it in. Um, so you're using real English. Uh, your abstract would look like this. Um, this margin on this side, the left side, is straight. And I did that by choosing this one over here, left margin justify. This side is all crooked and broken. And that's what we want. We want it to look like that. We don't want this one. I'll show you. We don't want this one where it's left and right margin justify. Because what that does is you can see in here it spaces it really far. We don't want those big, big spaces. Uh, we, so we just use left margin justify. And your abstract should be 150 to, to uh, 250 words. This one is, okay, well, this one's 85 words. Anyway, the, that's long enough for an abstract, I think. Anyway, moving on. There, <laughs> there is an abstract. An abstract is a, a summary of your paper. And I usually write my abstract last. But let's keep going to do the formatting. So the next thing I have to do is reproduce my title, The Extraordinary Beauty of Anchor Watt, and I need to reprodu reproduce it exactly. So I'm just going to copy and paste it. Here I go copying. Now I come down here. I don't start my essay here. I need to move to the next page. There's the next page. At the very top of the next page, paste it. I need to center it. That's how my essay is going to start. Hit enter. Now I have to go to left margin justify up here. Good. Um, so now I'll bring all that dummy text back that I said I was going to use. Here it is, all that dummy text. So this is where my essay is starting now. Imagine I had written an essay. This is a what four or five paragraph essay there. And I've written it all fine. Um, but what I want to do now is I need to indent. So let me 
select all of my essay. There it's all selected. And I'm going to go up to this little thing here, this top triangle. Be careful when you move it because sometimes when you move it, you end up moving the, the whole thing, which you don't want to do. Um, so let's see, it's moved there. Um, I'm just going to undo all of that. So again, what I want to do is I'm going to select my whole essay here. Um, you can see I have different paragraphs. From here to here is a new paragraph. From here to here is a new paragraph, but that should be indented. The first line of every paragraph should be indented. So I'm going to take the top one and you'll see the magic that happens here. Watch this line. Watch this line. I move the top little triangle and it automatically indents now all the stuff that all the paragraphs that I had selected and they're all indented at the same amount which is what you want. Now if you don't see this this thing here this bar up here I think where you need to go is uh, layout, no, document elements, no, review, no, tables, where is that crazy thing? Uh, well, let's go up to the top here, view. And you see in the menu for view, there's a thing called ruler. And that's what I click. I, I check the thing called ruler, and then I get this thing up here with the numbers on it and, and the things for tabs. So it's my title is centered. It's the exact same title from the title page. I have a running head. I have page number in the top right. I have 2.54 centimeter margins on all sides. Um, you know, exact same amount of indent. It's all double spaced. It's plain font 12 point font I'm using Arial font um, and I've written my essay okay there it is da, 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 da. and that's the end of my essay and now I have to include my references section um, now be careful once you're totally done and you want to start uh, let's say for example if I put references here and I say, I click on center, it's not totally centered, really, because I have this top indent already. So watch when I go back, control uh, undo there, you can see that it's aligned with that, so it's not really centered. I need to move, to get stuff properly al aligned, properly centered, I need to move that back. Now I hit center, now it's really centered. Um, but I'm going, this has to be on its own page. References needs to be on its own page. So coming down, there we are, references. Um, on its own page, I'm going to hit enter, back to left justify, and let's put in some pretend text. And this would be a reference. And in another video, I'll talk about citation and referencing. Um, for now, let's just uh, use some dummy text as reference for our references. I'm going to put in a few of these. I'm hitting enter, put in another, put in another. Oh yeah, so here's something. There should never be any extra spaces. Don't add any extra spaces anywhere between paragraphs, between headings and things like that. Okay, move it back. Now, I want to select all of that. For the references section, you need something called a hanging indent. And to get a hanging indent, you grab the bottom triangle, not, not the little um, square piece, but the bottom triangle. If you grab the square piece, again, the whole thing moves over. That's not what we want. We want to grab the bottom triangle and move it. And you can see when I move it, that second line, um, and I can add more lines, 
and you see that the first line is out along the margin and the second line is pushed in. And this would be reference number one, reference two, reference three, and they would be in alphabetical order, uh, things like that. And this is, this is how you format for what's called a hanging indent and it's what we use in references. And that is how to format um, an essay paper. So just quick review, you have on the first page, it says running head, colon, and then your short title in all capitals. You have a page number in the top right. The font of the header matches exactly the font uh, that you're using in your essay. Then on the title page, you have your, your title, your long title, your name, your university, uh, your instructor's name, and, the, and any other information that your instructor wants. Then on the second page, you have a different running head here. Um, it's the same title, but you don't have the words running head anymore. And how did we get that? We got that by going to um, inside of, in, when you're inside the header, and you go to this thing, header, footer, you can check this piece that says different first page. Um, then you do that. And then the second page is an abstract. It's a summary of what your paper is all about. Um, some, paper, some papers need an abstract, some don't. It gets its own page. Then you go to the next page. That's when you actually start your essay and you have the title reproduced again, header, page number, um, one inch margins, double spaced, the paragraphs are indented, all at the same amount, um, black, just plain black um, font, no extra spaces, and you're all the way to the end of your essay. Then references page, um, so it gets its own page, the references goes the heading goes in the middle, um, plain black text, and then you use hanging indent where the first line is out and the other lines are pushed in. And this lets us see the, di the different um, references. This would be the first one, second one, third one. And that's it. So that's how to format APA style um, an essay. Uh, let's see. I'll make it small. Well, there it is. Super small. All right, um, good, that's the end. Good luck.